In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaBr plus PbNO3 2, sodium bromide plus lead 2 nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. You can see I have two nitrate ions here, two here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. Now I have two sodium atoms and only one here. I'll put a 2 here. That balances those. Plus I have two bromines. I have two bromines here. Those are good. A lead, one lead. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. So bromides, general, and sodium compounds, very soluble with a few exceptions. But AQ there, nitrates, very soluble. AQ, that's going to dissolve, dissociate into ions. Sodium, nitrate, aqueous. And then we have this lead bromide here, lead 2 bromide. Whenever I see lead, I'm pretty cautious. So let's look this up on a solubility chart here. And we're going to find lead, which is right here, and then bromide here. So we go over and up, and that SS, that means that lead to bromide will be slightly soluble. Just a little bit of it will dissolve. For the purpose of net ionic equations, we consider slightly soluble to be insoluble. So after the lead to bromide, the state is going to be a solid. It doesn't dissolve. In fact, these two react. This is a solid, it's a precipitate, it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Sodium on the periodic table, that's in group one, so it's one plus bromide ion, that's negative. So two sodium ions, two Na plus, and I won't write the states right now, let's write those at the end, plus two bromide ions, Br minus, then lead, that's a transition metal, so we need to look at what it's bonded to to figure its charge out. The nitrate ion, the whole thing is always 1 minus, and we have two of them, so this has to be 2 plus. So we have a lead 2 ion plus two nitrate ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we set a positive and a negative, so two sodium ions again, plus two nitrate ions, two nitrate ions. And then with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. We just put PbBr2. It stays together. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. When I look at the reactants and the products, I see I have two sodium ions here in the reactants and two in the products. Get rid of those. Two nitrate ions, two nitrate ions. Cross those out. What's left is the net ionic equation for NaBr plus PbNO3 2. Let me clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium bromide plus lead 2 nitrate. You'll notice that charge is conserved. We have two negative charges, these two positive, they cancel out, give us a neutral product here. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same as well, so mass is conserved. Often we'll see the positive ion written first in net ionic equations. It's the same thing, just maybe looks a little bit nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NaBr plus PbNO3 2, and thanks for watching.